Hello, AJ Monster Trucks fans, and welcome back once again to the Rogers Center here in Toronto, Canada. We are ready to get to the final part of AJ Monster Trucks Apex Tour. The part that you've all been waiting for. AJ Monster Trucks Freestyle. We've got our 12 truck lineup ready to go one last time here in Toronto. And with that said, it's time for Freestyle. Coming out first to hit the track, it's the brand new Nighthawk! Nighthawk, of course, making his competition debut here in Toronto, Canada, part of the AJ Monster Trucks International cast, but was selected to join us here for this show in Toronto on Apex Tour. And he is going to sling it around, looking for his first hit. Big air off that tabletop ramp for Nighthawk's first ever hit in freestyle. His time has started as he brings it back around to the tabletop and going to bring it up and over the back side. Riding out now, looking for that racing lane on the other side, again getting some big air. Those racing lanes have really been jacked up, so we are going to be seeing some huge air tonight's competition for sure. Back up and over that combination tabletop ramp, and getting into a short slap wheel off of it. Now Nighthawk, of course, doesn't have any competition experience. This is the first ever stadium or just freestyle in general in the competition. So this is definitely valuable experience for him, and he might even have an edge over the other AJ Monster Trucks international competitors when the A international series continues, because he will have this stadium knowledge to break their table. And it's going to bring it up and over the jammer, and oh, gets a bad bounce. Look at this slap here we go. Up and over that, uh, that speed ramp right there. Sliding out now for the racing lane, getting some big hair off of it. Not even getting it that far. Into another slap, really almost. Making it back around. Back side of that racing lane, we've got less than 30 seconds left to go in the run now. Sliding out, looking for that step up ramp. Up and over. Beautiful air time. First step up into the night. Back around for the near side racing lane and not going to get it in for another really. Five seconds left to go and Nighthawk going to bring it into some donuts and that will be blue time. Let's hear it for Nighthawk. First freestyle of the night, bringing us some pretty great action. We'll see what the judges thought. The score for Nighthawk is an 18.7 out of 30. That is the current score to beat. An 18.7 out of 30 for Nighthawk starting us off here tonight. Another heavy hitter, but still a brand new competitor from Team AJ is the Rexcavator. First, this is also Rexcavator's first stadium show and the second show ever. And with this style, really, we start time. Rexcavator. New to Apex Tour, let's see what he can bring to the table here for the freestyle. Up and over that big top ramp. See a bit cautious out there. Big lane, brand new driver. Never been out of the Apex Tour back before. Nice air over the racing lane and bringing it into a beautifully executed slap wheel right off the wheelie bar. And you can see that truck is taking some damage in the back there. It was uh, ripped off in the skittles challenge. Now going to move around, looks like for that jammer ramp. Looking pretty hard and 
sideways and not Got a pretty good momentum, I can say, so far for really, really trying to match up around. It's not a great distraction. It's just being cocky. I want to go high. Notice, he's doing that up around. Might be a good driver. He really knows how to match up around. Now, he's got the same thing going on with that insanely loud truck. Back side of the jammer now, that's something different. Put it on the bottom of the jammer, and now have 30 seconds left to go. Put back to the base. Oh wow, nice skywheeling off the back side of that tabletop. 19 seconds left on the clock, that's clear. Looks like they're going to bring it around in the pseudo Oh, no, oh, oh, he's going for the backflip! Nice energy backflip for Rexcavator! Oh, man! First ever Apex Tour show and his first ever backflip attempt. Unfortunately, it looks like he hit the brakes a bit too early. Not able to get the rotation, but with a 21, or a 20.1, he is your new freestyle leader. Rexcavator really showing off that he has potential here at AJ Monster Trucks. And coming out next, no rookie to AJ Monster Trucks. It's AJ's very own Bulldozer! Ben in lots of competitions before, has lots of experience. Let's see what he can bring to the table here in Toronto. Go well, once we start into that race and make for some nice air blowing off the smoke for you fans. Boldo Bazaar will also be in the next Apex Tour show lined up for Syracuse, New York. That's going to be a real special show, so you folks are not going to want to miss it. My hometown show, well, I'm not from Syracuse, but it's my closest Monster Jam Stadium show, so that's what I end up calling it. And look at this into a nose wheelie. Bulldozer loves to incorporate through those skills into the run, and he's got a really good throttle rhythm going, I've noticed. That's not something he usually does. Maybe he's experimenting with different driving styles with that throttle rhythm. And look at that big air up and over the step up ramp. It's definitely working out for him so far. But yeah, like I was saying, Bulldozer will be on the next Apex Tour show in Syracuse, along with a couple other trucks here tonight. We got just over a minute left to go in the run. Bulldozer swinging that truck around. He's having fun out there. Now going to go for the back side of the tabletop. Nice air lands on top. Drifting it around that run. Going for the back side of the racing lane. Nice air time off of it. Not a sky wheel leaving, just flat air time. Up and down over that ramp. Now going back for the back side of that. Nice air off of it. Flips the A cap a little bit now. On the downside, 25 seconds left to go for Bulldozer. Looks like going to go for the back side of the step up. Oh, nice sky really lands on the trench box a little bit. Hard landing on that tire. 13 seconds left on the clock. Bulldozer headed for the uh, near side of the track. 7, 6, Five, and he's lining up for the NOS Energy 8-pack. Smoke blowing in the rotation, and he gets it. Time is expired. Nothing after this will count. Give it up for the Bulldozer. Uh, blowing the smoke for some uh, celebratory donuts there. Again, those will not count towards his score. Time ended right after the NOS Energy 8-pack backflip which was beautifully executed, by the way. Score is coming in for Bulldozer. It's a 23.4. He will be your new freestyle leader here in Toronto. What a great run for the Bulldozer, and it was enough to take the lead. Oh, boy. Coming up next. 
He was your racing winner and representing the country of Canada, which we are in here tonight. Running from Team Cryptid Creations, get loud one more time, Toronto, for Northern Nightmare! And it looks like he is going to set his eyesight on that step up ramp for his first hit. I've been up the crowd. Are you ready to see Northern Nightmare one last time, Toronto? Here we go! Up and over the step up ramp, flying across the track! That's got to be the biggest thing we've seen so far. Sending it down that front stretch now, whipping around to the back of the tabletop. Nice air land. A bit on the edge of it there. Coming up with the top side of the ramp. Now descending it into that tabletop with some nice air. Northern Nightmare not playing around. I'm sure he wants to go for that double down. For his own crowd! Oh my goodness! Just sending it across the tabletop. Oh my god. Yeah, he definitely wants that double down. Up and over this combination once again. Oh, it's getting into a bit of a stop here. Nice combo there with the two steal. The racing lane, oh my gosh! Northern Nightmare, calm down! You already have a win! He keeps that it into the cyclones now, next to the dumpster. He is really going after that win! Huge sky really up and over! Oh my gosh! Going for the front side of it once again, oh my goodness!
sliding it out for the center jump. Huge, huge airtime. Now, beating Avenger is going to be no easy task. He was going big air send on every jump. So it's going to be really risky to be able to take him down. And look at that. Walking the dog up and over the roller. That for the center jump. Going to use the little uh, skills popper there. Try and get some different air time there. Sliding it out. Looks like for that combination. Hard landing again. He's under control, but able to combo it up with the backside of the step up ramp. Nicely done. And again for the uh, far side racing lane. Into yet another slap wheelie. Charlie Falkin is riding those wheelies left and right here at the Rogers Center. And looks like he's about to do it again. Yes, he is. He is walking the dog here tonight. We've got 35 seconds left on the clock for Charlie Hawkins. And looks like he's going to bring it around to the tabletop ramp. Nice air off of it. Could use a bit more momentum if he wants to be able to beat Jim Fuller. 20 seconds left on the clock now, and I'll run over the step up ramp one more time. And looks like he's headed for that NOS Energy backflip ramp! Here we go, and it's a crazy big rotation. Huge air off that backflip ramp tonight. And oh, wow, look at this! Hard landing on the one side! And Monster Mutt goes over. Get it up for Charlie Pocket. Monster Mutt. He was flying that beautiful anniversary body up in the air and wheeling the dog like crazy. And it's going to be a 26.4 for Charlie Pocket and the Monster Mutt. But coming up next, it's the professor himself, Tom and Maximum Destruction! Going for that center jump for his first kick, gets a bit sideways off of it. Now up and over the racing lane for some huge air, and getting it into the moonwalk off the rebound. And still walking it, comboing it up for the reverser, nice! Now going for that weird diagonal ramp right there, it's a bit hard to hit, but Tom Mens does it right now. Like I said earlier, Jim Fuller's run is not going to be easy to beat. We need the momentum, we need the constant wow factor in airtime. Let's see if Tom Mens can put that up right now. And uh-oh, almost getting into some trouble right there. Now for the back side of the center jump, sky wheeling it. Uh-oh! Lands on the trench box! Keeping it under control. What a save. Now headed back for the combination. Nice air. Almost clears it. 45 seconds left to go for Tom Mintz. Gonna go for the step up rim once again. Nice air. Oh! Oh, come on! Flips the jammer and able to roll back on all fours. Nicely done. And big air off that tabletop ramp. Tom Mintz really going for it. And into another moonwalk almost. 20 seconds left on the clock now. And it looks like Tom Mintz is bringing it back around. And he is going to line up for the Nox Energy Backflip! Oh, what a rotation! Oh my gosh! And Tom is able to keep it back on all fours, and that is going to do it. Give it up for Tom and Maximum Destruction! That was a great run, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to beat Jim Moore. We'll just have to see what the judges got. Nevertheless, a great run for Tom Metz and Max Me and a wicked backflip, too. That was incredible.
and your score for Tom Mintz, a 27 even, not quite enough to take the lead from a venture. And now, coming up next, he's been chasing a freestyle win all season, and he's looking to get it here tonight. Coming up next, it's Nas Energy Overdrive! around for the pad, huge air off of it, clears it completely, oh my, now slinging it around, really drifting across that floor for the tabletop, hits it sideways, keeping it under control, and cross press the jammer, that's different, now headed for that near side racing lane, oh my gosh, huge air off of it, Nas Energy has a uh, different feeling than those trucks here on the track, so they uh, they can't really do some of the stuff that Nas Energy seems to be able to do because it's very unique to a truck. Oh wow! <laughs> Sending it into the racing lane. Yeah, like that for example. Nas. Oh my gosh! That for the center jump, huge air. Nas Energy is going crazy. He, he is really, he is starving for that freestyle win. Huge send. Oh, and a bad bounce. And brings it back onto all four somehow. Nice run for Nas Energy so far. Whipping it into some donuts. 45 seconds left to go. Now back to the far side for racing lane. He heard me when he said he needs to do nothing but air it out to be able to mash the floor. And that's exactly what he's doing. 30 seconds left on the clock. And he keeps sending it. Oh, oh, and look at that. Into the stoppy. Off the rebound from the jump. And looks like he's going to line it up for the NOS Energy backflip ramp. Perfect landing and gets the moonwalk. Backflip. Two moonwalk for Nas Energy Overdrive. He's gonna send it. And oh, wow! The airtime is insane. That is gonna wrap up time for Nas Energy Overdrive. Did you see the air off of that? Unbelievable. Did you see that? That was some serious elevation, as Scott Douglas would say. Score is coming in now for Nas Energy of 29. Your new freestyle leader, Overdrive. And well deserved because that was incredible. And now coming up next from Team Throttle Monster, Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack, your third place competitor in the Skills Challenge, which means we're down to our last three trucks right here, right now. Starting off with a big sky wheelie really, in the Jurassic Attack truck. Now keep in mind, he's still got a broken shock on that uh, right side, so will that play a factor into how he's used out tonight? Out. Up and over that step up ramp. Nicely done for Dalton. Bringing it back around for the racing lane. Again, another big sky wheelie. And now with it in the full show. Nicely done. Oh, for the center jump, hits a bit sideways though. It's the jammer and keeps it under control. Oh, 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 yeah, there's that broken shot going into play. Not able to support the trucks and to get a turn in there. Nice, nice air off the combination. Lands on the downside. Beautiful execution. And yeah, you can see the truck keeps wanting to tip to that right side. That's because that shock is damaged from the racing crash earlier. Nice slap wheelie, though, getting it. Combos. Oh, looks like he might have been trying to get into a good walk there. 
Now from the other side, off the combination ramp, giraffe attack. Oh, here we go. Getting it into the stocky now. And combling it up for the popper. Nice. 18 seconds left to go. And it's the snap, really, just a little bit, too. Echoing what he was doing in the skills challenge earlier. And hits that jammer at a weird angle. Eight seconds left to go for Dalton. And he's going to put it into some donuts to end off his run. Give it up for Dalton Widener. Jurassic attack. It was a pretty good run. Of course, I don't think that's enough to take the lead. Yeah, 25.9, but still a really good run for what he had to work with in that Jurassic Attack truck with as much damage as it sustained. And now the other Apatine throttle monster. It's David Olford, too tall, Velociraptor. Now he has gotten second place in both racing and skills so far. So needless to say, he's just a little bit angry. So we'll see that coming to play in the freestyle as he just sends it into that tabletop ramp. He wants to win something here tonight. Second place is a great honor, but first place is like no other, and David Alford knows that very well. Bringing it up and over the combination ramp, lands on the racing lane just a little bit. Now going to whip it around for the other racing lane. Wow! Huge nose dive! He wants to win something here tonight. And he is making that statement known right now. Huge, huge air off the combination. Halfway through the run now as he whips it into some nice cyclones. He is really putting that Velociraptor truck uh, to its very limits right now. Want to slide it around and that's the combination getting some more huge air. And back and up. No, oh, it looks like he's going to go for the NOS Energy backflip very early. Over 30 seconds left to go when he did that. That's very early for a backflip, very risky maneuver, but it pays off for David Olford, who is still skying it across the track. 20 seconds left to go now. And looks like, yeah, gonna use that skill popper on the step up ramp to put it into a nice nose really. Nine, eight seconds left, and he cross threads that ramp. Oh my, almost getting up a one, uh, two tires there. And this jump right here will not count. Time has expired. Give it up for David Olford, Velociraptor! It was a great run. There were a lot of great moments, but we'll have to see what the judges thought. Is it enough to take away the win from NOS Energy Overdrive? We'll have to find out. The score for David Olford in Velociraptor is coming in now. And it is going to be a 27.9. Not enough to take the lead. That's not enough for second either. David Olford not happy, I'm sure, with that result. But nevertheless, NOS Energy Overdrive remains the freestyle leader. And with that said, we're down to our last truck of the night. Your skills challenge winner, the Loch Ness Monster. Oh. Did you see that sky wheel? Really? That was incredible. Airtime off that was insane and sending it off the near side one now. Now, Crimson Creations has won two of the competitions already here tonight. Can they make it a Crimson Sweep? Or will NOS Energy go home victorious for the first time in freestyle? We'll just have to find out as the Loch Ness Monster swings around for the combination. Nice air lands in a bit sideways. Oh, -ho! side slap that step up ramp. Now going to go for the front side of it, getting some huge air and into the jammer. No, come on, save it. Walk it back. Oh no, up and over the top. And that sadly is going to do it. Didn't even feel half the run. Give it up for the Loch Ness monster.
And with that, it's a 26, which means your freestyle winner, NOS Energy Overdrive! For the first time ever, your freestyle winner here on Apex Tour. Folks, if you enjoyed this show, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And with that, we'll see you next time on Apex Tour, where we head to Syracuse, New York.